Kenya's biggest slum is Brian Otieno's muse. The 25-year-old photographer captures images of ordinary life in Kibera, an informal urban settlement of almost one million people. Through his project Kibera Stories, Otieno is trying to show the world that in the slum there's more to life than hunger and violence. I was born and raised here. These stories I share are ones I've lived through personally, seen happen. And also, I have access. People know me around here, and through these stories, I've also made a lot of new friends. They see me on the streets and recognize me as the storyteller, as their own. Kibera is a trendy stop for many foreign dignitaries who want to be seen dedicating their time to good, and any journalist looking for a story about poverty in Africa can find it here in no time at all. But Otieno wants to focus on other angles, like the area's underground rap scene, urban culture, fashion, and the powerful stories of ordinary inhabitants. Many people come from outside Kibera, and the photos and stories they share are not about the people here. They only benefit themselves, and not the people of Kibera. But my Kibera stories is about the people. It's not about me, because I'm not paid to do this. It's a voluntary project. I walk every day to take good photos and share them on social media. And the residents of Kibera are thankful for his efforts. I'm really happy to have someone like Brian around because he's one of the Kibera ambassadors who are trying to show the real thing happening inside here. Just out of passion to get people to know and learn the truth, not like the people that come for business reasons and run away after that. The photographer hopes his pictures will create a lasting visual history of the poverty-stricken area. Kibera Stories has inspired another generation of storytellers, people who document Kibera. So maybe in the future we can all come together and put on an exhibition or even make a museum where we can exhibit these photos for people to see. This is Kibera in 2018 and this was Kibera in 2013 to show that development, to show that gradual growth. Otieno still has more work to do before he achieves his goal and hopes the best stories of Kibera are yet to emerge.